Good evening and thank you for clicking that watch button. Welcome to my little build video for the Tiny Woovers. My name is Jem. I'm from Drone Junkie. These people here. This is the Tiny Woovers. That's it in its baggy form. That's what we're going to try and build today. And I'm going to show you a quick tutorial, if you will, to try and put one of these together and see how far we go. First thing we do is pull it out of the bag. It's always fun. So we've got two laser cut bits. Oh, look at that. So all the bits fall out. And you're going to need a few of these bits. There's quite a few spare bits. That's not good. Waste. That bit, waste. These bits, you could make something out of them. But really, they're waste. They're from here. So you don't really need those want these rings there's another one there and you're going to want this little H piece this job and these two little standy up bits and maybe some of this up to you how we built that we'll put them over there for now and I will probably just get rid of the rest so let's take all these other bits these bits here and put them over there so what is it how do we do it what do we do basically you've got the top bit and the scotty bit so this bit essentially just sits underneath yeah so you end up with a little cavity underneath and when I start to build this I'm going to show you a couple of things so because of the nature of laser cutting we never get a straight edge. It's really hard to do that. So can you see, let's do it this way, you might be able to see it better. Can you see there's a bit of a taper there? Very fractional. And if you want to match them up, that's going to be the best faces to mark, to line up. Doesn't matter which way up any either of these go. Other than that little point, you could have the tapers in. Will it be any more visible? It's a little bit visible there. Can you see it? Just a bit of taper there. Yeah, so you can either have them in or the other way and both out. It's up to you. On this one, I've got them both out. Yeah? And so I've just put a little bit of welder on these and that's still kind of gluing. And yes, we do use welder. Why do I use welder? Because I've got loads of it. You could use U-Pour, UHU glue, uh, Maybe even double-sided sticky tape on there, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, glue those two together. And these rings, it's a little bit of glue around there. They stick on there. A little bit of glue, sticks on there. That's lovely, and you end up with that little front bit there, which protects your propellers. And so the other thing I'm gonna talk about is, so these bits here, let's get one out. So these are the bits we've all been waiting for. These are the 3D bits, 3D printed bits. And essentially, it's just a duct holder. So I designed it to fit pretty much any duct. But this is really for the, for the cockroach because it goes all the way in, you see? So let me get another duct. One second. Just a second. That's just a stock inductrix, even with its motor. It's crappy little motors. We stick that in there. And see? Yeah. So it's a little bit loose on there for the inductrix. You could glue it in there. But it's really made for these cockroaches. Because we don't like the inductrix. But there you go. See? Clips ever so nice. I'll be cutting this up in a minute. And you'll see where I'm going to cut it. That's why I've not cut it yet, but that's what you want. You want two of these ducks for many of your cockroaches. This bit just slides on the top. A little bit of squeeze, pushes in, and you're done. That's all it takes. Now the reason I've done this like this is because there is a lot of ways to configure this. You can have it the normal way. Yeah, like that. And you see that if you 
pull this back a bit, you can just push that down, and that goes and sits all the way. You see it there? It's just sitting nicely. You can have it that way. You can pull it out. You can have it that way. Yeah. But you have to have pusher props, so turn your props around. Or you can, I quite like this idea, you can slide this on like that at a funky angle. It's only foam, you can't really hurt it. Like so, it's not quite got the angle there. And then if you put that on, your ducks have got an angle. You see? So that would sit upwards. I've seen a few builds like that. It's possible. Or you could turn it round. It's up to you. How you do it and how you configure it, we can talk about that in a bit. So there's that. That's the bit that goes on. You can, if you want, to put a blob of glue down in there. Make sure it stays on there. But this friction fit is so tight, I really don't think you're going to get much problems yeah, with that on there. You know, and how deep it is. So just keep it in, push it in there, and you're good to go. That goes in there. Um, okay. So let's get me little snip snips, something like this. And I don't really want any of this inside bit, so I'm going to snip it here. So I normally just snip further away, yeah. And I'll snip it. You see that last little join in there? See it there? You see it? Not this side, that side, yeah, and I'll just snip it right in, oh, not all the way, like that, and then this middle strap, and I would normally come back with a blade, and I would tighten it up, something like this. And I would come over here and just tidy these bits up. But that's a very personal thing, you don't really have to. Yeah, just to get rid of some of these. And I'll carry on doing that. So you take this duct and you slip it in there. And that's it. And then your motor can go in and out. And then that duct would sit in the back of this. Like so. Yeah. Are we good? Or this way, obviously. Yeah, I quite like that configuration. Okay, so let's have a word about configuration of flight controllers. <sighs> Did you hear my sigh there? You know why? Because it's nuts. Have a look at this. So my flight controller's backwards. My little power leads out here, it's coming out there. But my props are all the same on both sides. What does that mean? So they're going uh, counterclockwise, and these are going clockwise. But if you look in here, can you see the cross? So these front motors on the flight controller are the down motors, and these back motors on the flight controller are the up motors. So I've seen other flight controllers the other way around, but they've got this motor plugged into this side and this motor plugged into that side, but the normal configuration, you know, as in diamond pattern. So there's that, that configuration. I've also got a maker fire here. So it's a maker fire, and that is absolutely mental. So that is normal configuration, as you can see, beta flight. So that back one is that one, is the ups. Yeah. The power's at the front there. It's mental. And I've got one more here. And that's the original one. Can you see the difference? There's such a big difference between this and the new one. We'll start with the glued motors and all that. Uh, so this has got an inductrix, you see? And this is why we have the H shape, this little shape here, because those would fit, that would fit that way, but underneath, obviously. Um, and those little motor plugs would sit in between them arms, yeah? Uh, and you can build this little tower of battery any way you want, which is what these little bits are for. So you could put these in kind of like this configuration or 
build a little cross section over the top but what it is just something to put a power battery under there uh, you can see that there's one there and I think it's really up to you because I'm going to now say that this configuration here with this flight controller way out the back uh, I'm going to think about putting my flight controller about there yeah so you put your flight controller on the top of that and your motor leads come out of these little holes and then you've got plenty of space out the back to decide how you want to build it you could probably go that way or maybe something like this yeah you put a battery in sideways you could put your battery in loads of plate out the back yeah the normal configuration is these two and then this one yeah would be your normal configuration that way or that way or that way obviously according to your motors and yes you could probably bring that further forward and have the battery there so there's a lot of configuration possibilities god that's well messy like that yeah um, what else can I mention we've got because of this configuration action here we do have some TX controls and some TX mixing I think I'm not going to mention any of that right now because it's just so mental this one needs a lot of mixing in the transmitter it's because I like to drive on my right stick and not my your left stick so I've mixed all the yaw out of there to put it into the right stick and mixed out the aerial on. I still have my pitch because that seems to let us lift a little bit, goes back a bit and we can turn out if we bump up against the wall or something like that. Um, what else can I tell you about these? Not much, just drift, go sideways guys, sideways, that's what they're for. Ah, wait, I haven't spoken about the underneath. So these, it's got a great on flat surfaces, fantastic. I think they're a little bit grippy on carpet and concrete. So I started doing a Teflon slip mat, but Teflon we can't cut on lasers, boohoo, really bad, not good, can't do it. So I decided to cut a Mylar one. Exactly the same, pattern's the same, works just the same. What it is, it's just that it's a thick plastic. Like this kind of soft, baggy plastic won't work it needs to be a stiff kind of plastic because then it won't bow and it won't bag for want of a better description but that's not moving anywhere this kind of thin stuff turns into a balloon it's not good for you so we've just done that this pattern I've put it available on the tiny weaver page you can see it there cut it out a pair of scissors it's easy to do at some point I'll get some stock of mylar and probably you'd be able to get one of these from me as well. That literally just sits up. Look, we just taped it on. Yeah, a uh, word about taping while we're here. So while I'm here, let's talk about taping. Sorry if this seems ever so random, but I've never done one of these. Not really my forte. So, okay, we've got a red base here and I'm gonna put some red yellow tape on it just so we can see. And I just use normal electrical tape you can get bundles of colors of tape and you can even get thicknesses so you could do you know lines inside lines and stuff like that so i'm going to take the tape i just want to make one little point this tape is not going to stick on here too well yeah but once you go round it will stick on itself beautifully and the point i'm trying to make is that I, when you stick this on you really don't want to put any tension on the tape so I'm just trying to line it up there. So you just want to stick it on. If you notice that the tape here in my right hand is quite loose, if you put tension on like pulling it like you'd normally do with electrical things, you're going to start to bow the foam because the foam won't have any resistance to that pull and the foam will just give and it will just bow. So we're just laying this on, just trying to line it up as nicely as we can. The, nicer you, the more time you take, yeah, the better it is. Um, but we're just laying this on more than anything and then once it's all gone round and come back on itself then you will, you can go over now if you look with your finger it's not really any good you need to get the back of your blade not the front not the sharp bit the back bit and rub it with the back of the blade 
and just rub all the way around because that's going to get it to stick a lot better than your finger ever will. Yeah? Just go around and rub. So when you've done that and you go all the way around, again this end of the tape's very loose, I don't want any tension on it. And take your time here. The longer you take, the nicer it comes out. And still it hasn't taken us that long. Yeah, again, hold it here before you put it off. You see it's all loose, but that's all right. We're gonna come back to it. So we've got round to the back of it. Get our scissors, cut it off somewhere. Come back here. Like so. And trust me, once these two join, it won't it will stop falling off. Right here. Let's get it in the picture. See, I'm just trying to make them join nice and level, but I managed to mess that up. There you go. Still wrong. Have another go. There we go. So that is just for decoration. There's no, it doesn't hold any structure. It won't fall apart without it. But can you see? I don't know if you can see it. But once you start rubbing it with the blade, it starts to take into that foam. And again, it's the back of the blade, not the sharp side. Yeah. And you just want to smooth it out. And that'll go for any stickers that you put onto this foam, because foam is not the most receptive to sticker adhesives. And then I've got a little bit here, that's not a problem, I'll just lift that and we'll put that back down. Hard, isn't it? But don't worry, you'll get there. Yeah, you'll get there. See? Now, admittedly, the black foam, foam loves the tape a bit more. I think the density is a bit stiffer on the black foam. Yeah, but it does like it more. And once you've done that, you can put other tapes on the front of that, like on that one. Let's do a red stripe, why not? So we've got a bit of red. And peel it off, up to you. I'm just gonna cut a bit off just to show you a few ideas. But you could put it in the middle. You put it at the top, bottom, you could angle it. Yeah, you could really go nuts with just another bit of decor. That's all it's asking. Yeah, doesn't take much. A little bit of colour, a couple of stickers, and you could get to here. Yeah, now just put a little bit of pit white pinstripe in on these ducks, just to give it colour. A few little stickers here and there. Yeah, just go and race them, guys. Just go and race them. Enjoy. Ah, oh, camera here. Yeah, I like my camera here. A lot of people I've seen on camera up here. Uh, uh, personal preference. I don't know what else to say. I kind of like it here. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about at the front. Here, nice and protected. You haven't you don't hit anything. You don't damage anything. It's not a problem. Go race, guys. Enjoy. <laughs>